Hi guys, it's Lee. Um, welcome to my channel. I hope that you'll stay and enjoy uh, the info that I've got. Um, I have lost 59 pounds now, almost 60. Um, and I've used, it's taken a little over a year, and I've used in the, uh, using the keto diet, ketogenic diet, and Manjaro, the shot, the weight loss shot. Uh, I've been using that for over a year. Um, I found out I was eating too much protein lately because I wasn't losing much. And that protein turned into glucose or sugar. So I wasn't burning the fats like I should have been. Uh, so I, I fixed that a little bit. And I wasn't eating enough healthful fats for my diet. Um, keto has higher fat, healthy fats and lower carbs and moderate protein uh, on this eating plan. Um, what else? Let's see. What was I going to tell you? Oh, I've been taking LMNT, Element. Uh, it's electrolytes. It's got um, sodium, potassium, and magnesium and some other micronutrients and minerals. And um, because I eat so low carb, that's helping me a lot. Um, because I've been losing more water, I'm losing more of these electrolytes. So um, it tastes good too. It's got all kinds of flavors and uh, you can get just plain if you want to, but, um, but I enjoy it. I, I mentioned healthful fats. Um, the ones I eat are extra virgin olive oil, avocado oil, coconut oil and MCT oil, which is made from um, coconut. And to fry, I use the uh, avocado oil because it's a higher, it takes a higher heat. The extra virgin olive oil I use for salad dressings and other little just things that aren't high heat. Um, I use the MCT oil in my coffee in the morning. So I kind of make one of those bulletproof coffees they talk about. Um, or a fat bomb type coffee. <laughs> but, uh, and then the coconut oil I'll use if the heat's not very high, uh, that I'm cook when I'm cooking. But if I put the coconut oil in my coffee, I noticed <clears throat> as it cools down, it clumps. So I don't like that. So I use MCT oil in my coffee. Um, what have I eaten recently? I eat steaks, bacon, tomato, eggs, salad, chicken, shrimp, broccoli, cauliflower, turnip greens, spinach uh, in a salad form usually, but I do eat canned spinach too, and smoked uh, pork ribs. I went to the barbecue place and got some smoked pork ribs. They were really good. Um, Got to be careful though about the sides though. Um, as far as drinking, I've been drinking that Element, Element water and Clear American, which is from Walmart, uh, which is a soda. And I'm in, in moderation. I've been drinking that. Um, and then what's really been a saving grace is sugar-free gum. I especially just like sugar-free bubble gum. Um, it's great because it's got that sweet taste. I get to chew you know, it feels kind of deserty. I never thought I'd say that, but yeah, sugar-free gum has become my friend. I went to see the doctor for a checkup. Um, she said uh, I should ride my stationary recumbent bike. I have a bad knee, actually two, but one of them's pretty bad. And she said that walking is not good for my knee. So I'm gonna get on my stationary bike and try that. Um, my A1C reading was 5.9, so it's going down. It used to be 7.4 or 7.6 or something. Uh, my fasting sugar was like 83, so that was good. Um, and I'm wondering if it's my age or if it's keto, but I am going to sleep earlier and waking up earlier in the mornings. Um, and I also have less hair falling out than I used to, and I think that has to do with the keto diet. Also, I wonder if it's keto or the Manjaro, or both the Manjaro is the medicine shot that I take, 
but my appetite is very under control. My A1C is under control and I have slow but steady weight loss. So we're talking one to two pounds a week. Um, uh, I've just become a fat burner instead of a sugar burner, um, meaning that even if I burn some sugar, I go back to the burning the fat. I, I've become fat adapted, I think is what they call it. Um, but I find that I have no daytime fatigue. I have more energy. Uh, I don't have cravings anymore. Not really. I mean, I'll crave food, but I don't crave sugar like I used to. Uh, I have better moods. I have better sleep. But um, I've been doing intermittent fasting, IF, without really doing it on purpose. But I'll stop eating around 7 p.m. And then I won't eat lunch until around 11. And um, I will have uh, a bulletproof coffee in the morning around 7. So that kind of breaks it there a little. It just depends on who you talk to, whether it breaks it or not. But, um, but I do have my bulletproof coffee in the morning. So that's about a 16-hour fast if you don't count the coffee. Um, I no longer count calories at all. Um, I watch my carbs to a degree. I used to count every single carb I ate, and now I'm not doing that. Because I've noticed that I can hold more than 20 carbs and still lose weight. So I am just trying to pay more attention to... Um, the quality of food I eat to eat things that are better and not processed. But uh, I also have two to three times a week a carb up meal, which is at dinner. I keep them at dinner time because that's the best time of day for a carb up meal. But um, I eat three times the carbs that I normally would at the carb up meal. So it helps me to keep my my system going and not just plateau and it helps my brain because i get to keep get the rice or um pasta or whatever if out of my system if i want sushi i'll go ahead and have sushi but um i do watch my protein i try to stay up to six ounces per meal and not go too much over that it's easy for me to to go over that I still need to lose about 75 pounds to reach my ideal goal, so I'm in this for the long haul. Um, I'm going to Hawaii in about 60 days, so I need to fit into that wetsuit and the swimsuit, and I need to have enough oxygen to swim and to walk, walk the beach and everything, so uh, it's coming. It's coming soon. 60 days is nothing. What else? Let's see. I had a lower molar pulled this past, about a week ago today. And it's been achy and had dull pain, but I've been taking ibuprofen in higher doses. I ate sugar-free pudding, sugar-free jello, soft foods, and it's getting better. But I get an implant in about four months, so I'll have a full implant for this tooth. But it's been kind of hard, eh, you know. You're trying to eat better, and you're not feeling well, and you're not able to even eat on that side. So, it's been hard. But I hope you'll join me for my journey, and I hope that you will like this video. And I hope that you will subscribe and join me, and let's do this together. But, um, I will see you soon. Love ya. Bye.